This was basically the last thing I remember is coming through this gate and heading over to the cows that were over by those trees. You must have shut it. I shut it, you yes, shut I came it. through it, yes. yes. Okay then, because I was up there. That's I was right, up and over the, the hill the there. Dam. I'm Peter Berge. I'm 76 years old. Been a farmer all my life, uh, both in Wandon and in Greer. We're farming Angus cows, uh, crossing them with a Charolais bull and unfortunately a few of them came through the gate. I went and got the quad bike, came through the gate into that paddock. It tipped me off. The motor stopped and the dust rose. It went like that, whirly gig. I knew exactly what had happened, but I didn't know how bad it was gonna be. And I came up the hill, my legs wouldn't carry me, and I got up the hill and found the bike on top of him. It was everyone's nightmare. So then I just started to call for help and the neighbours came. So we were really, really lucky. Probably 24 hours, I think, afterwards. It was not nice. No. Had nine broken ribs, two of them severe, a lacerated arm, acquired brain injury. Then when the helicopter came, you know, just the light in the sky, it was unbelievable. It could have been, um, could have been a lot worse. Yes. And we were really lucky. Five days in intensive care and the Alfred, because of the uh, Victorian government safety rebate, I was able to use that to buy a side-by-side. -side. I was pleasantly surprised how the side-by-side -side fitted into what I was doing. It's got seat belts on it, it's got mesh doors on it, a roof over you and a nice comfortable seat, and you don't have to throw your leg over the fuel tank to get on and off it. And as you get older, that's, that's a bonus too. There's many days where I probably won't see anyone. If my wife hadn't been there, it would have been probably an hour or two until they found me underneath the bike. After the accident, there's things that have got to change. And uh, that's when I've employed a mechanic to come in and keep check on everything. You've got to be aware of your surrounds and what you're doing. A lot of us uh, probably don't pay enough attention to that. You may do it every day, but no two rides are the same.